はい、お願いします。はい、あ。はい、we can't just start, you know, movement, for example, off of this. All right, but the idea of movement has to do with the movement of energy. Okay, now when she grabs, for example, I'm trying to move out there, but energy movement is something that, that circulates through you. Okay, and then what happens is uh, it has to be able to sync up. Now she represents energy outside my system, like my own energy system. Okay, so, so now her system and my system are beginning to sync up. Okay, then we kind of finish that motion. Yeah. So there's kind of an easy open shuttle in my system to get my own system of energy starting to flow and move around a stable but very flexible center. Okay, so we're going this way. This way. Yeah, so a lot of times we start out with a blending motion. Okay, so let's, uh, let's find a partner. Yeah. Too bad. Did we get the kids last week when I when I kind of had my accident? Yeah, it's too bad. We had a little wave kind of going. So they Maybe. watched for a little while, but then they went. Yeah, yeah. No, it was it was unfortunate. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now we I want you to look at it a little bit. Now. There's a little bit, this motion is important. But if you hold it real firm, okay, so, so this is like an electrical switch. It doesn't do me any good to flip the switch if the power is off. So right here we have a current, and then we have that motion, which aligns his and mine. Um, if I go this way, okay, I don't notice the power's out until the sun goes down. <laughs> yeah, no, so, so, okay. Now the power's not out. I just didn't flip the switch for the light to go on. So a little detail, but for example, right here. Now remember, your first thing is to make sure the power's around. So easy, oh, oh good, see that? Now the current's on. Now, add, now flip the switch, which is okay. Now do your turn. Uh, yeah, yeah. The little thing. There's a lot of, for example, just another. Grab on, take it, you feel it. If you just go this way, then <laughs> so hold on, you feel. There's another, another form. Okay. So right here, so the easy open shuttle. Yeah, that's good now. Okay, good. Yeah. Then you do your turn and your pivot. Okay. So the thing I want you to realize is you can be try to flip the switch, but the power is not going. It doesn't do any good. You can do it faster, harder. You can you can try another switch in the room. It doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing is you know the power sort of has to be on, which is the easy open settle. Then flip the switch. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 And I'm holding on just to give you a little bit of a, a feedback mechanism. In other words, uh, uh, if the sun's out, we don't care whether the power's out. It's just that, you know, if the power's out for a couple of days, then all of a sudden, uh, or your cell phone runs out of charge and you need to, you know, a lot of factors there. But one of the things is, you know, you can, if the power's out, you can try to charge your phone. <laughs> you better get your, okay, now hold there for a bit. You're leaning into it. 
easy for that motion, easy open cattle. And there's motion. Yes, there's motion in our system. That's what this was. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. It's a tricky one because right here I have no feedback. So we pull them. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You get a feeling where the body relaxes and opens. Okay, boom. It's something to switch. It's just like, okay, we're just, uh, his energy and my energy start to current together. And if I don't, it's like, okay, we're just, it's okay in sunlight. Okay, the sun's down. What's wrong here? I forget to turn the lights on. Easy, open, subtle is the power on, okay? And here the power is on, it's just I'm, I'm forgetting to flip the switch. Right? right? It's like boom. Right? So a little motion doesn't do any good until your own system starts to get its own fullness with itself. And then don't forget that, okay? All right? Okay. Now, the other thing I would add a little bit right there is, you know, now you want to actually start with that. Okay, so right here, an easy, open, subtle start. Now we put the switch for that. You know, we have that motion. Uh, but the easy, open, subtle gives me some depth, ground. Okay, so, you know, <laughs> okay, right? Now, easy in the rest. But that doesn't do any good unless your own system has its own sort of current going. So, how do you get that? Make sure that you easy, open, settle, and then, okay, okay. I'm out here. Easy, open, settle is your own system now. All right, if I get to do that, Okay, good. Now recognizing the easy open settle in your own system before you flip the switch or relax, your energy is starting to current. Oh. And if you sit on it, <laughs> you tend to tense up and try to do it outside. Okay. Okay. Feel that? A little firmer. Just this. Now you're, you're, you're holding your breath, relax and breathe. Easy, open, settle, make sure the current is flowing. Go. Now on that side, is, is, is this is the dominant side. Okay, for guys, we're used to that. Okay. <laughs> guys try too hard. <laughs> well, we all try too hard, so it's not just guys. Okay. Hold my finger. Can't do that. Boom, boom. You're jumping out here to do that. Just easy. Like a butterfly flapping its wings. Huh? Huh? Boom. Easy, like a butterfly flapping its wings. Now there's no pull in it. Now go. Now soften up a little bit, deepen. Okay, make sure that system is still current here. Okay, that's the tricky one. You know, sometimes we'll have somebody hold a little firmer. So boom. You, you change up on them, okay? In sports, you know, she expects me to drive, I shoot. If she can shoot, I put the ball on the floor. If she wants the fastball, I give her something that looks fast, but it's slow. It's a change up. So, you know, it, it, the whole thing about you can't change up if you're trying to, good. And it's finding out. How easy that is. Then 
steered for something like that, and she knows how to flip the switch and change up. That's the fun of the art, to some degree, right? You're kind of going to the and go this way, and then all of a sudden we have other movements. Everything, she comes in here, this like the room, there's a change up here. The system is easy with itself, doesn't fight itself. In fact, the whole thing, you see, if I'm trying to do this, it's a change up. Oh, you take a rest here. <laughs> you got better things to do than to argue and fight. <laughs> you know, that's the, you know, that's a change up. The attitude is easier. By doing that, when somebody is kind of holding you kind of hard, the whole purpose of the hard grip is to get you to not respond hard back. Well, you respond with kindness and passion. <laughs> I understand. You're, 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 you have that stupid exterior here. I'm not going to fight that exterior. I'm just going to draw it. I'm going to draw you out of your shell. Communicate yeah. now. <laughs> Harder, not easier, 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 easier. And, you know, when things are serious and we're tense and apprehensive, that's when this is the most useful. Calm down. Find your center, you're a better communicator. You don't have to have this war. Honest to God, Mr. Putin, we're not gonna put missiles at our border for you. We're not gonna join NATO unless you push us to do it. Then you will have missiles at your border. A lot of times when you respond with fear, you create what you're afraid of. We're seeing that right now. Leaders that do that are a pain in the butt. You create death, destruction, Yes. This side, by the way, was quite good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that side was quite good. Okay. Oh, we got, we got, we got a, we got a, his back. Yeah. Okay. Now, the thing I want you to believe. No. Nothing. The current's on. It's already in motion, but it's like, I'm not trying to move them. Okay? You're in a leadership position. You may not know what you're supposed to do, but you're the leader. You're calm. You, you do the kind of calm gravity. So the first words out of your mouth is you unify everybody in the room. You may not even know where, where, where it was going to go. You see, but that's what a leader does. So you're not saying this is what we're going to do, and then you know you, you attract people and say, I don't want to do that because you know you calm. Oh no, oh, you once you got the room, you put something out. The fact that you put it out in the calm way, it's kind of like I go, oh look into this, as opposed to eh, I got my opposition. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the lean gets you in trouble. Leaders can't lean, they have to be centered. All right? And then, now, you don't break the switch flipping it. It's an easy motion. Good, 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 good. And, and a lot of training is getting yourself to trust it. You see what I mean? Which means literally what? You trust you. Yeah, you're easy with things, right? I mean, you know, he grabs me, he grabs on, I get up tight, we have a, yes, I got this thing. Not about belief. I believe, I, uh, I can't believe that. Belief and trust are very different. Belief can't help you because, you know, when, when you when you watch there and start to lean, all of a sudden, your belief goes. So trust means, okay, you trust the process, you trust yourself. Right? It's hard. That's why we have this practice, isn't it? Better at it. Years ago. Well, yeah. Yeah, but you're back here for a reason. You're back here for a reason. Chinese boxing. You see the best student is an older person who's put their life and then you study Tai Chi or Papua or Shenyi. I see those possibly somewhat similar right there. You're ready now. So let go of a lot of the stuff and go up, 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 up. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so put that to fold. Okay, now the hidden movement. The easy to open, you settle that. That means the current's on. See that light's on? You flip the switch, there's light. Power's on. Okay. Easy movement. But the current's on. Relax, easy shuttle. Flip the switch. <laughs> Little tremor drift there. Good, good, good. That much. The amount of strength you want to use. More graphic, grabs my finger. I can't do anything there. But then I shouldn't rely a lot on physical strength, okay? So, the door has hinges, doesn't it? Don't. But relax, easy, open, settle. Okay, good, now do this one. Now, good, 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 good. Now you're starting to get some weight under, which is very good, okay? You get too busy learning the movement and all of a sudden, you know, you, you take yourself away from something, okay? So easy, open, settle. Turn the light on. Yes. All right? It takes, it takes a while to trust it, you know, because, you know, what do I trust? I trust that. Okay, so. I'm going to assemble a basketball thing. I want somebody who's big and strong and everything. Oh, you mean this Stephen Curry? He changed the game. He makes a living off of that. We're just doing it from different angles. Easy, easy, e easy, easy. That's hard. Last night I was watching the Warriors. I figure, uh oh, another disaster. Well, Paul had a horrible game, but he but he made the free throws, didn't he? How was that game? Yeah, he didn't have a great game, but he was the leader, right? Yeah. You know, if you're too tense, you clank them like 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 Wiggins was. <laughs> so you're easy right there, and you're Jordan Poole. We don't have Curry right now. He's doing a pretty good job. So that would be Curry at the line there. For, uh, and this is like, you know, got me firm. I'm under pressure. I'm going to clank it. So, easy. And you see Jordan there? And he's getting nothing but net. That is hard. <laughs> that is hard. Yeah. All right. And, you know, one of the things, I, I was a good free throw shooter. And, you know, my last year I played in Canada, it was all in the mural. I began to realize that free throw shooting, you know, you have to have technique. But more than anything else, it's mental toughness. And so when you're at the free throw line, you know, I'm like, now you're going to go boom. And the mental toughness is in a different direction. I'm going to make it. I got to be tough here. Relax. Click. That takes a lot of toughness to be that easy. It's not, I'm going to be tough. No, the toughness is, is very deceptive. You realize, click. And even more. You could be Kevon Looney. We lost that one game, right? <laughs> And that's why you can bite us in the butt or whatever, but you're so easy. You're so easy. Doesn't that... Yeah, you have the technique or you wouldn't do in the NBA, okay? But the question is, when somebody fouls you and just, uh, you know, tackle the... Easy. easy. Now, they even that one. You're going to clank that one. You'll go in sometimes, but under pressure, you say, click. Okay, good. You know, they, you know it, it was nice to see Jordan just nothing but net. Now, that is hard. That is 
Good, 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 good. The mental toughness right there, or the spiritual toughness, is to be easy there. Not excited, not tense, not trying to overdo or be sloppy. Right? Okay. Okay. Now, um, Julie, I don't know what your knees are like, so you know what we'll just kind of. Uh, you may have to do this from standing. Are you are you okay kneeling or not? For short time. Short time. Okay. All right. It's not going to be long. Okay. That motion. Why don't you stand up and stretch your legs while I'm talking? Okay. Yeah. There's various shapes in our movement. They're kind of like attachments. Like you know, if you're I and mean, I used to help my dad garden, he was a gardener. He trusted me with the watering and the weeding. So, you know, but basically you, you know, you you're, you're gonna, you know, you want to clean off your garage, you put something to generate a, a a really concentrated column, you know, cleaning. But you know, your watering is another attachment. It's wide, it's, you know, you want to reach a long area and you want to kind of pull it there for the chance to kind of sink in. Okay. So, you know, one, one of our attachments is this. The other one is this one. Okay. That's just down here. Okay. And so, one of the things with when she grabs, she's just helping me deal with uh, pressure. I'm reacting to something out there, it's pressure. Uh, I want to learn to be easy and more efficient with my energy and to treat people better because if she comes to me with a problem and they go like that, and we're just going to butt heads. She has a problem, which was what? We have a problem. Okay. <laughs> be nice if you know I could respond in a way that doesn't push her away or put me in conflict with her. See, that's what I did it with. You have a partner. <gasps> Okay, I'm North Carolina, you're Kansas, NC2A. Okay, Kansas wins. I get it. <laughs> you beat us. Congratulations. I'm like, yeah, that was stolen. We don't want to be that way. Okay, so this is a seated motion standing, one hand, seated, two hands. If the knees are, are not good, you know, then you know, you, you can just do this standing. Okay, I don't want to do a lot of lifting. We're going back and forth, going nowhere. Okay, the problem is this. I have a problem, no. We have a problem. You and your partner, Uke, Nage, are a single unit. No, no, I have a problem, it's you. you know, I gotta get rid of that. I have a problem and start to kind of say, what can I do to create better communication? So when you're the Nage, you're supposed to take the leadership role. Okay. When you start to argue with somebody, you know, basically uh, some of that is the precursor to working it out. If you're holding stuff in all the time, it'll just come out when you don't want it to, believe me. So right here, feel the weight, and then you rotate the hips. A seated is a, it's kind of a hip ball. Okay, well, let's change partners. But seated, most people, if your knees are not good, do it standing. Yeah. Okay. Now let's try one. It's kind of the same basis. Is that easy? See, the easy open settle is a hidden movement. You don't see it, but you feel it. I'm talking nasty. Now let's have a discussion together. And I'm going to try to not attack you when you're attacking me. Do you know what I mean? 
that you got to you are just what I'm going to get you, you know. Uh, but then, so, you know, we, we can lighten this up and get a lot more done if we don't go at each other. It's not that you have a problem or I have a problem. We have a problem. <laughs> The problem is basic of the separation and the fact that we polarize, right? So right about here, yeah. easy, open, settle, starts everything. Okay, now what I'm gonna ask you to do is be easier. Yes, the easier you are, the more natural you are, the more potent the discussion is. Yes. We, 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 we get results fighting. <laughs> we do. You know, I won. Good, you know. But if you're in a discussion with, with you know, somebody that, that they want you to come a little closer, okay? So, you know, it seems to start when I grab you. Okay, but before then, if you have some sort of easy, open, settle going, so your first movement is this. You know, there's too much weight in your wrist. Easy. That's the training. It's hard to be that easy. Uh -huh. It is yeah. really hard. Oh, yeah. Now you say, what just happened? You were easy enough that your current connected to mine, and you assumed in that moment a positive leadership role. Yeah, no. When I, when I like, oh my God. Get out of the way and let the earth center you move through and don't do anything. It usually works. It's so hard to try. Well, it's not being passive. You see what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah, I don't have to do anything. Yes, you do. Right. You have to be so easy. Your current and my current current together. And a lot of times, you know, when I think, if you think you got to beat me, you know, what happens is you tense and we, we become oppositional. So it's the point where, yeah, we're trying to work something out. We have a problem. Therefore, we can move towards a solution. If it's you against me, you may win and destroy something with me. Very interesting. Oh, see, there's something in your system which is full without trying to do anything that's very potent. Okay, now there, that's a, that's a push in the lift. I, you see what I mean? It's an old habit. I Darn, I started another argument. Or Darn, I reacted to somebody, so I, 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 it, the argument started. So we're just going to go easy there. Easy there. Now yeah. rotate your hips. Okay, oh. now, now all of a sudden, you have a move, don't you? Yeah. It's a hard thing. Is just being present, understanding that positioning there. The only I there is I want to be as transparent as I can. So is the we. Yeah, I have to be present. I, kind of, I give up. This is hopeless. Well, conversely, I'm going to fight you every minute of the way. Okay, that's good. You're going to fight me back. What are we going to have? A war. But sometimes you don't have much say because somebody moves in on you. That's, that's what we call an attack. <laughs> but we attack ourselves too by thinking and reacting. <sighs> so the easy open settle is what we call a hidden movement. Yeah. It's not a part of the lexicon of the blue. How do you do the technique? It's more like this is turning on or making sure the current is on so we can flip the lights or do something. Okay. See what I want to watch. I want to stream something on my TV. I never turn the TV on and I'm pressing that. No. Or I try to turn the TV on. There's no power. So what am I going to do? Well, that's another issue, isn't it? Okay. I check my phone, there's a service is down in your area for the next 40 minutes. Okay. I'll live with it. Right. Okay. Sure. That can be easier with that. Right? 
ठीक है Yeah, one of the things too, okay, is just where you are, it's a hidden move. It's all being very easy. Opening, settling. That starts your energy, your T moving, so to speak. Now, once it's in motion, okay, now it's trying to lift. There's no lift in that motion. Oh. See, when your current starts to draw my current in, you're the leadership person here. You're not supposed to come in and, I'm, you know, maybe I'm going to fight you because you're trying to get something. If you're reacting to me, it's called timing. You breathe. Your feet connect to the, the person there. So you can relax. Okay, now, yeah, I know your vulnerability. I'm the opposition candidate here. Easy. Okay. See, when you tend to lift me, you're trying to beat me. And what happens is I, you give me ammunition. This is easy. This is, yes, yeah, that's what's hard to teach. And then consistent. Instantly. Now turn your hips. Rotate your hips. Okay. Good, good, good. okay. Now, one thing right here, for example, go on your side. Why? Because when you get up, you must rotate your hips back. If I go this way, no, I'm going to go this way. Now you stay straight. You just keep extending. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Your key is going out. My key is going in the direction of your key. You're not stronger than me. You're creating, you're getting me to listen to your proposal as opposed to I'm going to fight you because you're oppositional candidates. I got to fight you. So, no, wait a second. This key is making a very valid point. Maybe I should listen and reconsider my own crap. That can change the world, by the way. <laughs> Get people through that. Okay, so come on. Yeah. Now, this is a tricky one. Okay, I'm going to put you at the free throw line. You're Kansas. I'm North Carolina. That's a different ending. You're going to make the free throw. Yes. Yes. See how right here, what I do is I go on my side. Okay, I'm going on to my left side. I'm touching that side, but I keep holding. Okay, just, just, to, just to make sure she doesn't. I'm just saying, is she genuine? Is this Yes, she is. That's a good proposal. She's not just doing this to fool me in the moment. That's, that's why we keep that connection right there. Okay? So how do you handle pressure? All right. Because we all want to argue, we all want to win. Okay? See, what I'm doing right here is, you know, uh, well, suddenly she's, she's kind of saying, she's getting me to say, you know, I might listen to that. And then I'm testing to see whether she's genuine or not. She's saying that in the moment. Yeah, it seems like she's genuine here. Okay. So we, we do that for each other in a way that, you know, creates, you know, to some degree, better communication. If the world would do that, we wouldn't have that crazy war. We really wouldn't have that crazy war that's going on in the Ukraine. Okay. That's why I was saying they created this stuff. We created a so to be world peace. Well, guess what? We, 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 we need to work a little better. Okay? All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, all right. We're kind of doing something over there that, that, that we might want to try and, and kind of work on a bit, you know, because, you know, this, this is, you know, she grabs my wrist, okay, uh, and, and, or we're seated, and, you know, it goes both ways. These are two major, major movements. Um, Rashiva did things like this with the staff or the sphere, and, you 
then it's very tricky because I, well, okay, what is this? This is a counterclockwise and this is a clockwise. But you don't see that because it's, it's in this dimension, okay? But for example, the, the counterclockwise motion is this movement. And if you were to go, well, okay, now we're going this way and it goes deeper and deeper, well, guess what? It becomes this motion. He was, he was kind of sneaky. In other words, a lot of what he had was what you might call hidden. His technique was almost all about key. And yeah, we understand basic key movement through the actual technique. But you'd be surprised how much a key, the application of key is hidden, it's direct experience. You can't really get past a certain level if all you do is the actual outer form. Okay? Now what I thought, what I saw David doing, this is fine, somebody is uh, grabbing your wrist, okay. But it's just gonna drop a hammer on me, okay? So we have that sort of motion. See, she's already kind of one because in some sense I'm already caught up in what's going on. She's attacking. So what we're doing right here is just simply Not my movement. I'm moving forward. My body is opening. She comes fast, and I do that faster too, but I don't rush. So I got to be very easy. The question is Is Putin going to go no nuclear or not? He's going <laughs> not. He might. So so we have to stay kind of cool, don't we? I don't like it. But when he starts carrying the, the nuclear stuff around with him, going to meetings and everything, you know, is that just to kind of create a certain amount of fear? Yeah. And the question is, what do we do with it? Well, he sort of knows that if he goes nuclear, we're gonna go nuclear. Just in the act of going nuclear, the other side goes nuclear. Is he, is he that crazy? We hope not. The question is, is he gonna make us crazy with his behavior? Easy. If you and me fall asleep, and they get their missiles in the air before we can retaliate. But it also doesn't mean we're so edgy. We accidentally do it. So, she's gonna drop a hammer. Huh. False. We thought it was that, but okay. So that's something that that right there. A lot of Aikido, for example, you know. Okay, that that's kind of where Ukraine is winning. They're winning the interior battle in their country. Where Russia is bad is they have long range missiles. <laughs> okay, and they're being, they're destroying people, they're killing civilians. About about. Okay, we know that. So this is easy in another way. She's coming to try to move this way for the turn. I'll move this way to the back for the turn. The other one works is just that, you know, if she comes with that hand and I go here, I bought a little time, but you know, it's better to be on this side. Okay? Okay. okay. So just just a little bit now we're gonna add some movement. This is the, what, what do you do with long range missiles? You better hope they go somewhere else. That's where war gets very crazy. If you can't win the troop battle, then if you've got the weaponry, you'll use it. You're going to destroy culture, you're going to destroy people. You're going to, you say, that's why war is lose lose. All right. And somebody else may have started it. Okay. So given that, yeah, there, there's just high ground. But on the other hand, be very easy. Be very, very easy with the situation. Okay, so the hammer comes, the hammer comes. We're still easy. 
Yeah, I think, you know, they still look like you're going to use your nuclear option on this end. I'm not going to necessarily react to it, but I'll be very careful to observe what happens now. Not in the future, not react to the past, right this moment. Okay, so go up. You get to drop the hammer as the UK, not there. This should be easy. This is just a threat. This is me carrying that briefcase and the world going, holy crap. Yeah, he's a nut. And he has a tremendous amount of power. Isn't it amazing how the world creates people like that? And we tend to be on the receiving end of it. Oh my God. So we all have to be very easy there, not neglectful, not, not try to hide from it, but also don't let it destroy your interior beingness. Okay? Let's find a different partner. Yeah. 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 Now, what we're going to do right here, this is a little different than a grab. Okay. Now, what I want you to see is let's say I'm going to do the movement. This is simple exercise. When you see me, don't move right now. When you see me coming, say now. I have to say the word. That's good. Now, keep going. Okay. Be a little easier. See, that was quicker. Okay. Now, this time, instead of saying now, move the foot in your body. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm coming with my right, you're going to move with your left, but you know, you can't be thinking that. Just be easy there. That's better. Okay. Now we're going to go to the other side. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, I'm going to be coming with my left hand. When you see me coming, say now. That's a little quicker. Okay. Now, instead of saying now, you're going to move this way, open your body like a door. Okay? Good. All right. So that's an important one. We actually have abilities that we just don't use. One of them is when we get very calm and easy, we see things coming. Sometimes, you know, we have more time than we realize. And sometimes we start to see things coming before they come. Okay? All right? Okay, well, not much of an attack, but you know, somebody picking up something they're going to. Okay? All right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's okay. It's just that, you know, what happens, you go that way, you're, you're standing kind of in front of him, though, so the movement behind him is a little better. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Right. And kind of what I want us to do a little bit is to, you know, there are certain patterns, for example, let's say Julie comes out, she grabs my wrist. Okay. If you hold it firm, tighten it up a little bit. See the whole thing right here. 
that's the easy open settle. See, when we externalize, we I mean, reaction to her. First of all, I can't listen to her until I start to listen to me. When you started it, yeah, yes. Yeah, I did that, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, you might have started it, right? You started it. Well, that's the whole thing. It's just like, okay, again, it's not her and me, it's us. There's always you and your partner in IT, though. It's not about you. But you have to get yourself in order. So that's a hidden move. Now we have this. Okay. Now this time, she's going to drop the hammer. Okay. Oh. I'm not trying to put her down. Whatever, you know, at that particular point, if she's coming at me, we we have a problem here. <laughs> okay. See, this is where I see there's a little more, you know, it, it attracts a more sophisticated audience. What you want to do is go around, wrestle, choke, kickbox a little bit. Yeah, that's fun. But that's not going to make the world better. It's not going to make me any better. Okay, a little old for that stuff anyway. But, you know, she comes, boom. So I'm in the same position. Okay, I'm out here. Now the easy open shuttle. I'm going to take her down. I'm going to win. No. Basically, if I win an argument, it's lose lose because there's a purpose for the argument in the first place. Win-win is where all of a sudden, uptight, controlling. I don't like to listen to her to the point where she kind of feels listened to. Therefore, you know what happens right here. We have a very different interaction. Easy, open, subtle features me, for example. Yeah, I, you know, that missile coming, so I'm going to shoot another missile or an anti missile missile. And then we go anti, anti, anti missile. And we're on a really bad course. I'm not just talking about interpersonal, I'm talking about national. Okay, over here. Now she comes in because she went the other way. We're back on some I'm go this way. A little. It's a little dicier when she comes in. Okay, but when I go here, because she's can okay, so we try and coordinate whenever possible. It's boom. Yeah. From here, it's your system is easy, open, settle. You're not there to win an argument. You're there to communicate. I like myself better when I'm in that mode. Okay. You're a better person. If it, we were all that way, it'd be a better world. There'd still be arguments. It's just that we would realize we're in it together. Okay. Like the warrior strength in numbers. <laughs> That's a good thing. Now, now, you know, what you kind of get these days is all of a sudden, you know, Darn that LeBron. Now he's saying, I want to play with courage. See, I'm rooting for Draymond. And Draymond says a lot, I want to be there when LeBron becomes the old thing. It's almost like, you know, rivals or enemies at a certain level. If you're a champion, yeah, we're all in it together here. Okay. And I think that's beautiful. More than just necessarily a parade, we won. It's like, no, no. Somebody you thought was an enemy all of a sudden goes, hey, I really did you guys. Yeah, we think you're great too. You know, that's, that doesn't happen in sports that often. Because then, you know, we're working on other stuff that way. But so she's coming in this way, boom. Off of this, easy contact here, not to bring her down. 
You know, we are in this together, aren't we? Yes, we are. Just that move is hard. Because I want a big show. I want to win. It's supposed to. I got to get rid of that crap for the world to be better and for me to be better. Okay. So let's 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 uh, keep the same partner. He's going to add that one. That's the hard one. All this is hard, but it's very important. Okay. What is important is oftentimes not easy. Because we got to win over ourselves. Okay. I want to win. I want to win. Yeah. And the world's going to go into flames. <laughs> if we win or Putin wins in the nuclear thing, the world goes down in flames. Everything is win, win, lose, lose. Because it's about us, not about me, ideally. Okay? Let's keep the same partner. Yeah, stay with it a little longer. Okay, one of the things, just take it real easy with me. Good. Okay, add that time. Now, right there, keep the firmness in your hand, but let your system go. Yeah, see what happens a bit like that? The more you do that to try to control me, and you probably know this, you don't, none of us likes to be controlled. None of us likes to lose. Okay, what do I get out of this? Okay, let's say we come here. Firm in the hands, but easy, relax, and settle. Now, right there. That's pretty good. Now, keep going. Okay, now move yourself so I don't land on your foot. A lot of times we abort before we actually, you know, there was a, the first third of it's really good. That's like winning the first round of the playoffs. But there's the second round, the third round. If you're going to win the NBA. Finally, you got to win 16 games in the postseason. Just, you know, and don't stop with round one. Okay. Which means, keep going. Okay, good. And hanging in there, not to beat me, but to really work that easy, open settle is very important. Okay. Now you're gonna go out in the first round. At least get through round one. No, you're gonna now you're now now you're just kind of like settle in. And now too obvious. Firm in the hands, easy open settle through your body. Okay. Now you got through round one. Okay. You might as well go as far as you can go. Okay, made it to the final. You see the feeling? In other words, we go, okay, I got it. What? There's a next level and the next level, and the next level. I'm just happy. My team made it to the playoffs. All right. That. We win the first round. Good. Oh, so we'll be there. We win round two. All uh, right, semis. All the way to the conference, you know, basically the conference finals. Pretty good. Now you're in the championship round. Why stop? Well, other times you go, oh, yeah, I got it. I remember when I was a Warrior fan, I was just happy to make the playoffs. Now we're not that way anymore. And some of that's not good. But, you know, ah, you guys, yeah, you made the playoffs. We expect A, B, C, D, but be easy there. Okay, so for example, here, I'm coming in. Okay, now you're, first of all, keep your firmness in the hands. Get a little further behind me. So you're safer, all right? Now, you're right there where you're firm. I don't know where you are. Relax. Keep the firmness in your hands. Now, don't lift. Just be right there. Now, easy, open, settle through the body. Now, all of a sudden, you're giving away your position. When you try to move me, you give me your position. 
Relax. Okay, we're in an argument, you want to win. Guess what? You never win an argument. <laughs> you never win an argument. If there's an argument, it's a lose lose. No, you're just trying to take me there. I can understand you want to win. Clear that out. Keep the firmness in your hands. Just relax, easy, open, settle. Okay, now you've got the circle, but you don't have the ground. Okay, relax. Okay, all right. Now, now you made it to the semis. Settle in. Deeper. Let's go some more. Okay, good, good, good. Now you made it to the conference final. Okay. Relax a bit. Easy. Okay, now you're bouncing between the, you know, the, the semis and the conference finals. Easy, settle. Oh, right there, you made it to the final round. See, that's why I was saying they said it's about winning over ourselves. Nobody wins an argument. You can win an argument and destroy something that you, you, you wish you hadn't made it. Nobody, you know, everything is about us. You see what I mean? It's not like, oh, I won, yeah. Ah, all right. Now, one of the things I say, you know, down here, she's coming in this one. Okay, it's a little easier here, huh? a little easier than we get this motion. Okay. And then she's coming in again, and I go, oh my God, she surprised me. Yeah, I let, you know, basically, uh, you know, I, I was caught up in my own junk. I wasn't listening to her. Either. <laughs> so when she is coming in that way, I'll take her. Come on in. Okay. Okay. Now, for example, here. And now you're trying to move me. Get a little further because I can get behind me. Now, relax your arm, but keep your grip. Oh, no, you're trying to move me. Oh, right about there, something. Okay. Now, now you made it to the playoffs. <laughs> That's about it, right? So you made it. Good. Relax. Open. Open, 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 open. Okay, that becomes really important. If we don't do that, you know, then then you know we're 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 kind of like spiritual jujitsu. Okay, I'm coming in. I'm really good. Now, right there, what did you do? You just relaxed, and it didn't seem like I got you, but I didn't. Okay, now. Good. That first part's good. Now get a little further behind me. Oh, yes. See, when I think they said win over yourself, it just means the one that wants all this stuff is like being very easy here. Very, very easy. Doesn't mean get sloppy, doesn't mean, you know, retreat, internalize, and let the situation just blow up. This means being very, very good listener, right on point. That's hard. Paradoxically, that's what you do when you're in a sword fight for your life, <laughs> right? If you go in there, uh, yeah, you might be too better, but you know, you could trip for the other person. You know, you know, it, uh, the best thing is not to fight. You stop the fight before the fight begins because you you went over yourself. That's not always possible to let drawn into things, but easy, open, settle. Okay, okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do, uh, what, I, what I've heard is, you know, when, when Osensei was alive and, you know, he would come through uh, the dojo in Tokyo, he would oftentimes take the class over and be very critical because he said, nobody's doing Aikido here. You guys are doing using Aikido training. And then he'd lecture and everybody would go, oh no. But what they found was a lot of times, you know, since I walked through the dojo and people were doing knee work, <laughs> he wouldn't do that. Because it takes a little bit more. See, one thing, you're on your knees, there's more humility. Humble position. Two, uh, a lot of times when you're on the ground, Movement is deeper whether you understand what deeper is. 
And so what I thought we'd do, just excuse me, just she comes on in, we're, we're kind of like this, good. And then there's this motion. This motion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, there, there's an overwhelming sense you want to control your partner. Okay. I mean, some martial arts, so that's, that's kind of, uh, you know, it's understandable. But why do I want to control? Because I want to win. Okay, pretty simple. It's a martial arts thing. Let's just say this is actually I want to win. But we trade roles. There's no winner or loser. There's just this kind of a, a harmony that we're working for that promotes a type of growth. So when she's coming in this direction, okay, that's good. Now, good, 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 good. Right. Easy here. For one thing, there's less. She's standing, I gotta take her all the way to there because that's what the teacher is doing. I'm, and I'm increasingly uptight about it. Easy open selling, your system goes back into balance a bit more. Okay? You straighten, your shoulders relax, your perspective changes. I want to lose the technique, but I'm gonna win. Good. Now be very easy there. If there's a nuclear war, there are no winners, believe me. There are no winners now. You can give the high ground to, to the Ukrainian people because they're being invaded. But how many people on the other side are dying? Quite a few. Nobody wins a war. Okay? We won. Won what? Okay? So one of the things is this. The other side. Yeah. Well, since they like the knee work, because people relax a bit. You got to relax just to move. Everybody stand up for a second, stretch your legs. Okay? So we're going to do the full technique, but if possible, if your knees are not great, then don't worry about it. Just do a standing. Okay? It's not about asking you to do something to ruin your legs. But do it Swati Waza style. I think they liked it when people were down there because they didn't see the concept of strength that they saw when people were standing. You know, it's a much more humble place to be. Okay? All right? So keep the part you have. Let's do the full movement. So let's do it Swati Waza for just a little bit. Okay? Go. You okay? Okay. Yeah, there's a lot. I don't, I don't know why that's there. Because there's maybe people have sake. Yeah, but that, that's more sake touch. Yeah, so I'm not sure that so well. It's a nice decoration. Okay, you take care, Julie. Yeah, go K, go KU, huh? I hope Wiggins actually, you know, he, he had a horrible stretch. You know, so hopefully. He's got to figure that out. Well, you know, the, the problem is he comes into the league, really hyped up, and he gets rejection. LeBron says, find this kid out, send him to... You well, know, he so. hasn't achieved the kind of consistency where he can carry a team. And so he can be a role player, but I'm just wondering if he can hold his spot. Well, player. you know, the, the problem with him is he has the talent. You know, but and when you have the talent... Consistency is part of talent. That's true. A lot of a lot of Andrew's stuff, to be honest with you, is, is kind of somewhere here and here. Because mm -hmm. he has absolutely now if you look at Kuminga, for example. Oh, he's so fun to watch. Yeah, but you know, he landed in the right place. Okay. Now what I understand is that kid Josh Giddy, the Warriors wanted him, mm -hmm. but 
the team before him, them mm -hmm. picked him, so they picked Kaminga. Now they weren't necessarily saying, God, we got the booby prize. But I watched that kid in summer league. And I said, you know, they have something. Because, you know, all the stuff they said about him, no, he could handle, no, he could pass. And, you know, he could score. I mean, he's really inconsistent, but, you know, basically, you know, you could argue he was the best, he wasn't the most important player, but he was the best player on the court yesterday for yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, the most important was Jordan, because Jordan made all the pressure shots, oh, all the free throws. Yeah, but Kuminga can do that. I think creating next year's team is going to be fast. I think it will but be I don't fine. have that job. Thank you. Okay, so you take care. Bye-bye. Easy open settle. If you're right about here, I guess it's a second round. Easy open settle. It's easier to learn on the moves because you get all the way here. I gotta take it down. No, I don't. Yeah. Easy open settle. Well, you see, I'm trying to get nothing happening. It's gotta be more than just the thought. Right about here, he's the basketball. I'm the person handling the ball. If you try to take him down, you get stronger. That's why a lot of times, you know, if you argue with somebody, they get they hold their point of view even more, and it just becomes, you know, just it's not a discussion anymore. So when you move, move over here. Good. Now. You're in a good position now. It's hidden, easy, open, subtle. Okay, something starts to happen. Okay, now, you, you know, in basketball terms, you made it to you made it to the VNC2A tournament. 54 teams get to do that. Okay, that's good. Or not. Okay, if you're a high program, it's not good enough. You'll get fired as a coach if all you do is make it. Okay. Easy open settle. That's a good move. Okay, now you made it and you won the opening round. Okay. Okay, so now you, but they don't say the, the, the 32. The only counts when it's the sweet 16. Then all of a sudden you've done something, you won two games. Okay, that's better. That's better. All okay. right. Okay, now you just made the elite eight. You see what I mean? You were easy and confident enough to even stop there and try to jerk me around. Okay? More. More easy open saddle. Okay, now you made the final four. Now, one of the things you, you can coach people, you can yell at them as a coach, but you know, all you can do really as a coach is awaken what's inside the player. If it's not in there, you're not going to create something that is not there. But the idea of fairness is that oh, it's just that the universe is in everybody. It's just that we, we settle for so much less. Now, a catch is here, settle in, easy, open, settle. Now you see heavy. Keep the firmness in the hand. Easy open settle to the whole body. Good, 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 good. good. Okay. Whoops. Now stand up. It's easier down there because we don't have to take somebody that 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 far. Okay. Now you're you're back in the the, the, the what is it the sixty four team. <laughs> All right, now, okay, now you won your first thing. Now, you're, now but, but right there, you're in a battle, you know, to make, you know, easy there. You're not gonna make the Sweet 16 without. No, you have to be adaptable. So emptying. Okay, good. All right, now you made the, the Sweet 16. Okay, it's, in some sense, you know, sports and 
designations and everything like that, they're not good because they, they create, well, success is, is winning. And the way I think they put it, the, the victory in IQ though is winning over ourselves. You see what I mean? In other words, we're increasingly more, you know, we, we say, you know, it's, it's ultimately, you know, what we're trying to do is like that. Let me do this first. I have a hearing aid, so that becomes, makes the whole thing really hard. Okay, so then I gotta put this in, okay. Then I got the mask, I gotta do that so that the mask doesn't pull it out. But, where you are, just sit. And of course, the mask wants to slip and it pulls everything out. Easy open shuttle. You're not doing anything right now. Now, all I want you to be able to do is do that in motion. You see? So I got to win over all this stuff. And that's what the, the training is about somewhere. Yeah, we got to learn technique, then we got to unlearn it. The more you learn, the more you got to unlearn. That's the challenge of it. Okay? So keep going. Okay. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to keep everybody uh, down there quite so long. So let's figure this out. All right. Um, Couple of things. Nothing starts an argument like the other person thinks you're hiding something. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that? Be easy there. It's really difficult to get out of the reaction and into a zone where we're kind of working towards a, a team relationship. You and your partner are teammates. Okay, now we're doing uke, nage, nage, uke stuff just, just to kind of practice. But, you know, when she's kind of coming in a certain way, then okay, good. All right, and she turns around and she does it again. Okay. All we're doing, is trying to keep that in motion, that easy, open, settled place. That's where your key starts to move. See, everything is about the team. But if you don't have your own system in balance, there's nothing you can bring to the team. So it's, it's, it's kind of a dual, and it's not a battle, it's a dual training. So when I can just be very, very, Easy, not asleep, not passive. I feel my feet. I feel my breathing. I'm conscious of her, but not in a way where I'm either attacking or reacting. Okay, and in that particular case, then that's where this gets to be. Now here, I got to bring her down. No, I don't. There's a, there's a communication. We're both feeling the floor. Boom. I happen to be the center and she's the circle, but we have a relationship here. And then we reverse roles, okay? okay? See the center here? You see the circle out there? Now, right about here, they, I, I, She's real dangerous down there. I mean, if she's an attacker, she can turn in, she's gonna do a lot of things right here. So do that. You know, you keep the harmony of the sense of the circle and the circle to the center, okay? 
And of course, what you see is a good technique, hopefully. Now we do both. Okay, now one of the things here, we're, I'm going to reverse roll down here. Okay. Good. Oh, okay, good. Now, right here is the tricky part. You stay the center on the circle. Good. Yeah. Good, 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 good. good. Right there. You don't see me do that too much, but when I'm noticing right there, there's no gap. I can't kind of come in from the floor at a funny angle. She, she keeps the center to circle relationship in the harmony the center has to the circle. And conversely, the circle has a harmony back to the center. That's, that's the archetypal Aikido. So just in that crazy movement, there's a lot going on. Okay. So I'm just trying to point out a couple of things right there. The training itself is, uh, I, I remember um, a lot of the stuff he could teach you they used to yell at me about, the stuff that we sensei yelled at him about. And he would say, you know, Jack, it's easy to kind of get caught up in dojo stuff, but when you're training in Aikido, you're training for the whole world to help the world go back into balance with itself. And so, you know, the term, you know, that, that Osensei used was wago. There's an accord. There's a balance. People sometimes say Aikido is peace. Yeah, but that comes out of accord. If you don't have an accord or a balance, there is no peace. And sometimes you're like, peace, it's an idea. Good. We get enough accord, balance, communication. What happens is peace is a very alive statement. The center talks to the circle, the circle talks to the center, and there's communication. That's uke, nage, nage, uke. Okay, and some degree, the circle to the center, one system of key, the center back to the circle, another system of key. I see is those two systems become teammates. And yeah, there's going to be discussion. There's going to still be stuff to work out. But it's not really about winning other than the fact that I get all these dysfunctional habits learning how to try to take her down and win. Doing the technique right is really important. But getting myself right and my vision for what the training is is even more important. Okay? So let's continue. Okay? Now, one of the things I highlighted, for example, I can all of a sudden all my stuff is falling out right here, but yeah, you know, okay. Okay, this is getting better, but I'm sloppy here. Turn in. Well, you know how crafty Putin is. Yeah, I'm going to evacuate Kia, but we know there's going to be a, a move here. So you can, if you're Zelensky, you <laughs> have to be ever vigilant. You have to be honest. Yeah, uh, those are war crimes. And you want to preserve your country. There's a battle there. Okay. And it's easy to say the battle is against, but there's an interior battle when you're a leader. Be honest. But I try to work for some sort of balanced peace so people on both sides don't die. And realize sometimes the other person is very duplicitous. So, you know, we're looking at the centers of the circle, right? It wouldn't do, Putin, you know, put, uh, Zelensky any good for Putin to kind of uh, smart him. But, I uh, guess. Yeah. And so the communication, the system of being, all right, is very important. If you're on a team, okay, and this is what's tricky. For example, the Lakers are very dysfunctional. Why? Because LeBron runs everything. Okay. 
The only reason they exist is because they're LeBron's team. The Warriors aren't that way. Stephen Curry doesn't ask his teammates to be less than who they are. You know, so the, the model there is strength in numbers. Now that's a basketball team in a sport that's still geared towards winning, but there's good winning and there's dysfunctional winning. And what we're doing here in Aikido is trying to promote and you know, there's dysfunction in our systems. So we're working through the training to get that dysfunction into balance in communication. And Ozen, they call that winning over ourselves. Okay, pure and simple. I wish it was easy, it's not. But nothing worthwhile, really worthwhile is easy. And the price we pay is to some degree vigilance. We're, we're conscious of ourselves and where our intentions are, where how our bodies are responding, how our minds are responding to this. Okay? So I want you to go back out there. We're going to stand and go through the Shobaduchi uh, Riminage. Okay? One more time. Same partner. Oh, Paulina, say hi from all of us here, Mom, okay? Okay. Okay, you didn't make the 316 on that one, did you? Yeah, easy, easier, easier, easier. Open, settle, a little fuller, a little bit more, okay? Final four. Now there's another step, isn't there? Easy, easier, more. Come on. Easy, 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 easy. Yeah. Okay, you made the championship round on that one. You feel that? Are you doing the movement better? Yeah. But because it, it's a sense where the two of you are a better team. If there's stuff, I mean, look at the Lakers. You know, a bunch of talent, a bunch of all stars. They can't beat anybody. That's total dysfunction. It's not a lack of talent, it's just a certain amount of stupidity. Yeah. So, so when we come in this way, easy, 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 easy. Now, right there. Okay, you're in the, the opening round of 64. Good. Now, what do you do to get into the second round? Yes, you let go, okay? Now, when everything goes well, you go, okay, but it's consistency. Easy, open, 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 okay? Now you need the three six two. all right? I mean, we're just using hierarchies this way. It doesn't mean anything. The no sense we use other ones, okay? Oh, good, good. Okay, that's good. Now that, that was uh, you know that was good. Now you're not trying any harder, are you? In fact, you're letting go of certain habits, aren't you? Yeah. I mean that that that's what's tricky. Yeah. You know why does Wiggins miss free throws? Well, he comes out of college. And the first thing he finds out is LeBron rejects him, trades him to Minnesota, right? I mean, I'm sure that that, that is a starter. Question is, am I really good enough? Well, yeah, so those things are, are difficult. Why did LeBron do that? Because he wanted to win now, okay? And that whole thing. I'm LeBron. I got to win. I, I take over a whole organization, and in four years, I run them into the game. <laughs> okay, strip mining, whatever you want to call it. Okay, Curry doesn't do that. 
you know, the Warriors don't operate that way. I mean, there's this dysfunction there, but it's not the same thing. All right. Curry, Curry doesn't ask anybody to be less than himself for his benefit. And, you know, we do uke nage, but it really is more than equal. The uke role is crucial. Because, you know, the, the actual uke works a hell of a lot harder than nage after all. <laughs> okay, if you teach a class, you realize that. Okay, good, keep going. Yeah, that's what you do with big people. You don't react to their size. You see what I mean? It's a good partner for you. But then again, you know, she's small, she's fast. You see what I mean? You're, you're kind of like Rudy Gobert trying to defend um, Jordan Poole of the three-point line. But on the other hand, you get Jordan Poole of the basket. I mean, everybody's got their territory. That's why Draymond's so good because they defend both positions, right? Right, but that's good. You know, you, you uh oh, or comments say, uh oh. We work it out. Okay, keep going. Now that's good. Keep going. That's good. Now that one, you cut it a little fast. Huh? You cut that one a little fast. Yeah, yeah, you show yeah. that one. It's a little bit like you know you're a pitcher, and you you're going to try to strike the guy with a slider, but you cut it, and it in the dirt. It's a wild pitch. Yeah. On the other hand, you hold on to it too long, it hangs. It's, 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 yeah. It's, it's it's uh, yeah. So one of the things right there is you got to be easy. Yeah. If you're sloppy, you're gonna you're gonna probably hang. It. If you're tense, you're gonna throw a wild pitch. Instead of strike, now, you know, you may strike him out, but then he makes first base, and you know. So one of the things about it, just getting that timing right, you know, you're my closer. You're Brian Wilson. There's two outs in the bottom of the ninth in the World Series. You win this one. There's a parade. Yeah. He was pretty good there. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things right there is you cut it, but the timing. You're Brian Wilson. Okay, good. You feel that motion right there? Yeah. Yeah. And the way that I think Mike Kruko explained it, you have to break several planes. There's the batter. There's the catcher. There's the umpire who's supposed to call the strike. And that one, you broke all three. You feel the difference? What's the difference? You're easier. You know, you're my closer. I get to be Bruce Bochy. You're my closer. I may burn you out, but you're my closer. Okay, what does that mean? I trust you with two outs, even though you walk the base of loaded, which was sometimes you would do. Okay, you'll get me strike three. I get it. And I might might bet might get an ulcer over it, but you know, I I literally trust you. You know, that's feeling a bit. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Didn't he become a Dodger? Yeah, he did. He actually signed with the Dodgers later. I remember that was kind of crazy. Yeah. But you see that whole thing right here. So now what I'm doing is I'm rever a role reversal. This is going to get you to be even easier. Okay, you get us in the World Series. Now we're in the World Series with two hours. Romo did it. The next time he faced that guy, the following Tuesday, he gave up a home run. See, I'm going to expect a slider, I'm going to throw him a fastball. We tried that again, and the guy took him yards. But we won. 
He was easy enough right there. Easy, easy, easy. Feel that motion right there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're 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 right there, but you're loose. Yeah. You know, the empire kind of sticks you on a call. You're gonna come right back. You're gonna break that third plan. I'm gonna throw one that you can't call. A ball. You know that feeling a little bit yeah. without and that means I gotta loosen up some more. Squeezing them, telling me, screw you, you know. No, I can't wear them. Gonna, you're just gonna call my next strike a ball easy. Right? Because we create our own reality moment by moment by who we are in that reality. And that influences the, the partnership. So, in that way, you know what happens with that. Why is this? In order for you to win over yourself, you're creating a type of an accord or balance with your, with your partner, you know. And that's that's a tricky one. Yeah. But that you, you feel the difference right there. Yeah. When you cut it a little too much, too quick, then what happens is you know, you, then we throw the, the wild pitch, you know. Yeah. Throw it in the dirt. Okay. And if you go, oh, okay, yeah, I got, I'm just going to put it in there. It's usually a hanger. Okay, anyway. Okay. We are, we are where we are. Okay, yeah. So um, part of the uh, thing, because one of the things that's real difficult, you can only, we can all train only a certain amount, especially these days with limited amount of in-person time. But you can work on the easy, open, settle quite a bit. Okay. One thing I, I noticed you know, when I was in Japan about Tojima Sensei, a lot of his movements were really very eccentric. And you noticed them when he was by himself, he was doing all these eccentric things. Like one time, you know, I was watching him um, walk from, you, after class, you had to go into the front of the dojo where Hikiduchi Sensei's office was. And you might get trapped there for two hours sitting on a, a hardwood. But, you know, he went in and um, for whatever reason, they had a conference and I was already back there. And I just watched him. And, you know, he was walking across the dojo like this. Okay. And so, you know, I thought about that for a minute, you know, and you know those things at the airports, you know, where you, you step on them and you kind of feel like you're, you're walking on the air, but you can just hold the guard, you know, the guardrail and just sort of, you're going to get there anyway, but when you walk, you kind of, there's a, there's kind of a nice flow. And so it's kind of like writing an energy flow. You know, just across the dojo. And so, you know, occasionally, you know, I said, what's he doing? So I said, oh, oh my God, he's like in an airport. You know, so it was, it was you know, I, I would watch him and he was kind of, he had these eccentricities. You know, sometimes you'd watch him, I'm like, oh, kind of weird, but we, we, we actually were real close that way because he would say, you know, I know I'm nuts, Jack's nuts, so we got along great. Okay, really. But the, the eccentricities that he had, usually he was doing some sort of practice. Oh. So anytime, you know, just we spend so much time, you know, like, I don't know what to do. So I watch CNN and find out all that's going on in the world is bad. All right. <laughs> or whatever, right? Instead of doing something, I'll drink coffee or something. And I'm sure he did that too, but, but there were things where, you know, when I would watch him and he was clearly working some sort of a practice, okay? So easy, open, subtle is a good practice because what happens, you know, is that when you get that, your key starts to move and your key starts to move in a more unified way. And sometimes it creates, you know, it's what we call like, you know, the, 
the energy platform that he was riding when he was walking. There were a couple of other ones, you know, that, that he used to do. And then you, know, you copy them because they're just kind of interesting. I could just throw off, but. Yeah. Um, things he would do, for example, is he'd have people sit. And then he'd go around and he'd go like, close your eyes and he'd go. Like, okay. So um, one of the things I think he was working on, for example, the weight is underside. Or conversely, you know, it's underside. Which means you're settled. The tendency when we kind of open is to drift. That's why it's very, you're very easy there. Okay. Things I found out about him was uh, he would do things like, like apparently when he was pretty young, he, you know, he became a sword maker later, but he made a knife. And that knife fell into the hands of some of the local Yakuza. And that knife was responsible for several deaths. And so guess who the Yakuza blamed? They blamed him. And so, you know, basically, you know, he, it was, you know, he sort of had to train on his own because there might be somebody waiting for him. Okay. And according to, I, I never heard any of this stuff because he, you know, he, he didn't want to encourage me <laughs> to, to be a certain way, I guess. But, you know, he talked to Linda Sensei and said a lot of stuff. Did you know that? I said, no. Or one of my other friends, you know, he would have her walk into a room because <laughs> he was saying somebody might come for him. And the, the thought was, if they, they go for her, then he would be able to step in and, you know, but he say, I want you to walk in that room before I do. And you know that I never got any of that, by the way. So you know, there's so you know, there's an area where he got a lot of training because he had to be on guard because the Yakuza, according to Ano Sensei, which I heard later, yeah, he had some battles. You know, where actually, you know, he had to use the Aikido movements, you know, basically in street attack situations. And he was a little bit more like, you know, I mean, his technique had an edge to it. Which, you know, to some degree, when he was in a much more of a softer, more comic mode, was really very entertaining. And he was by far, if somebody says, Jack, who would your worst nightmare be? You know, in other words, you know, in terms of like the scariest person you ever met in Aikido, you know, so I said, oh, it's him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he didn't have to do anything to me at all. But sometimes, you know, I'd work with him. And I realized there was a real edge to him. Like, you know, when you dive underneath and, you know, the person has to fall over you and stuff like that. Well, a couple of times, it's like, you know, he came about that close from taking my knee out. He didn't. But it was like, I realized, okay, yeah. Just if that had been a quarter inch sooner we were taking that knee out. So a couple of times working with them, you, you feel an edge you wouldn't feel with the other teachers. Because you know he, he actually had to use the you know the Aikido training, you know, to, to fight off the Yakuza. Well, why? Because he built a knife and that knife was so good it became a prized weapon among the Yakuza, but when you know they blame you know not just the person who wielded the knife, the person who made the knife. Okay, so anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's an extreme case, but he was practicing quite a bit. He practiced the weight underside. And you know, he would make you sit. He wouldn't tell you what, what he wanted, you know. But when the weight is underside, you're easy, you're settled, you're present and you're not, it's not something that you are programming yourself to in a moment. It's more of a natural state with you. He was always kind of working on that stuff. Okay. 
doesn't mean that the other teachers didn't, but, but it was kind of obvious to me that, that because he would come back after we hadn't seen him for a month and he'd be better. And I'd say, what are you doing? Were you swinging the sword? He said, no, I wasn't doing anything really. But you would see his movement was better. Went, oh. So I talked to him, he said nothing, but he was practicing, you know, he's practicing the hidden stuff. You can always settle, you can always open. You can always just let your weight settle under a bit. You can sort of get, as you, most of the time our energy just caught up in all these weird thoughts and, nah, and, and, and just gets goes in too many directions right there. And when you easy open settle, your energy starts to kind of gather, instead of going in too many things, it starts to become a flow. And then, you know, what happens is, you know, the weight settles deeper on your side, the open gives you a little bit more awareness of what's around you. And being easy, you know, he was very dangerous. I began to realize that after a while, it's very safe to train with him, but occasionally. He would, oh my gosh, you know how close that was. Now the point is he didn't hurt me. I began to realize, oh. And so, you know, that's the easy thing. He was very easy with me because he knew how strong he was. You see, he was really powerful. Somebody says, you know, the two people that I would say in terms of like, you know, martial arts, I said it would be him. The other would be Master Choi. My, my, my <laughs> and he was the same way. And he would just let you know, yeah, see my knuckle right there could go right through your ribs. Isn't that cool? You know, and, and so he, they were, they're both similar that way. All right, those are probably, you might not be sure some of those. Who, who would you say were your two most dangerous teachers if you go to? Dangerous doesn't mean anything, by the way. You know, in other words, you know, it's an area where you began to realize just as, okay, I'm glad that he's so easy. As you get a crew more power, you want to become increasingly easy with yourself. Your power doesn't go away. But if you're not, uh, it can be destructive. So that's part of IT though, it's not like now. Because, you know, we're working to, to some degree, make our own system psychologically, emotionally, not just physically or technically better, but to clarify who we are so that we can start to bring this philosophy of creating what I say more the team mentality as opposed to the oppositional mentality. And the number one thing is the opposition within our own system. If we are easier with ourselves, we can be easier with people. Because we're open to more of ourselves, we can be more open with people. As we start to deepen and settle, our relationships with people become deeper. So it makes sense, except when we get too caught up in all this insanity up here and out there. Thank you very much. Grayson said he can't make it today, but we can we can kind of work a little bit, okay?
Can we just wait until they conclude the mass and try to solve it? David? Okay, guys. I don't know, guys.